Hello guys and gals and welcome. So today we're going to be looking at a pretty amazing item and uh, most of you probably know what this is just by the icon in my inventory and that is the Griffin's Eye Diadem. So on today's episode of Unique Items we're going to be talking about this item, what it can be used for, why it's so good, and um, why people are so excited when they find it. So uh, this particular item is um, most notably marked by its negative lightning resistance. And uh, and this is important because the negative lightning resistance on this particular item has a huge effect on the amount of damage that you can output. And, um, and we'll talk about that in just a little bit. So right off the bat, um, you'll see that it has 250 defense, which is a relatively high amount of defense, but that is because it has a plus 200 defense modifier on it, which does vary between 100 to 200 in its plus. So uh, the defense on this is actually not very high on its base, and even if you find an ethereal version, the ethereal version is not going to modify that 200 defense that's added, which means that uh, the ethereal versions just tend to be not very good at all. I mean, granted, you could uh, put a Zod rune in it, or perhaps use it for PvP, but the bonuses um, of a Ethereal Griffin's Idea Dem is not really that great over a non-Ethereal, and plus you lose your socket if you have to put a Zod rune in there. There's no stat requirements on the DM, so do keep that in mind. And it does require level 76, uh, another thing to keep in mind. So we've also got plus one to all skills on this thing, which is definitely very nice to have in combination with the effects on this. 25% uh, faster cast, which makes it an absolutely excellent item for a lightning sorceress. We also have negative 20% enemy lightning resistance, which is uh, variable between 15 to 20. So we do have a 5% variance on the enemy lightning resistance, and this is really the main stat that we're looking at here. Um, the other effect is the 10 to 15% to lightning skill damage. Now the lightning skill damage is not as important as the lightning resistance, and, uh, and I will explain why as we go along. You can also, of course, add a socket to this, and you can put in any number of things. Like, you could put in a shale rune for some more faster hit recovery. Uh, you could put in a 50% uh, IAS jewel if you're a Javazon. Um, you know, you could put in all sorts of nice, goodly things into this to really beef it up just that tiny bit more. Uh, maybe even just a perfect ruby for some health. You never know. Um, keep in mind that you can always clear out whatever you put in here and put something else in later. So uh, leaving it open is kind of silly, especially when you can just throw it in the cube with a hell rune and a scroll of town portal and remove whatever it is that you put in there. So how does the negative lightning resistance work on Griffin's Idea Dem, and what is it useful for? So first thing you need to know about negative enemy lightning, or rather any negative enemy resistance on items, is that it only applies to you. If I were to take this and put it on my mercenary, I would not get the effect. If I were to take this and put this on me, my mercenary doesn't get the effect. No one in my group gets the effect of this, only, only the wearer of the item. The other interesting thing about a negative enemy lightning resistance, or negative enemy, enemy resistance in general, is that it does not break immunities. So say, for instance, you had a monster who was at 110% uh, lightning resistance, and you have a Griffin's Idea Dem, surely your negative 20 should uh, reduce him to 90, right? Well, it doesn't. Unfortunately, if a monster is immune, negative enemy lightning resistance does absolutely nothing. However, if you have an Infinity, or a Conviction Paladin, or a, um, a lower resist wand or a, a necromancer who is casting lower resist uh, lower resist and conviction can actually break immunities and i'm going to bring up the um the resistances on the screen here for you guys so these are the skills specifically involved in reducing resistances um or rather breaking immunities so as you can see, Conviction uh, will reduce a monster's resistance by 150%, but it is only a 20% effectiveness versus immunes for a total of 30% reduction. Um, we also have Lower Resistance, which is negative 70% resistance, which also suffers from the 20% penalty versus immunes, which is for a total of 14%. Now here's where the magic really starts to occur. If you have the ability to break an immunity, the negative 20% enemy lightning resistance can work. 
all you need to do is break the immunity. You don't need to reduce them down to 0% resistance. You just need to reduce them down to 99. 99 is the point at which they are no longer immune. And at that point, your negative lightning resistance will take over and, uh, and really start to shine. Now, of course, you can also take a uh, lightning facet and sock it into the Griffin's Eye DTM, which I think is one of the best choices, with negative 5% enemy lightning resistance and bump this up to negative 25% which is going to be a really, really awesome amount. And uh, I actually believe I have a uh, lightning jewel just sitting around. Let's go, uh, let's go grab it, shall we? It should be sitting on my unique miscellaneous, which uh, it's been a little while since I pulled him up, so he's probably like all the way at the bottom of the list. Yes, I have a lot of characters. Uh, no rings, helmets, armor, shields, staffs... Uh, Saigons, look at all these sets I've got. If you guys have never seen this before, I actually have a pretty extensive uh, array of single player characters, specifically for the purposes of creating videos, uh, testing out things. Um, it's, it's a pretty expansive job dealing with all this stuff. And, uh, and I have to remember where I put everything, and I should probably have a spreadsheet. I should probably have a spreadsheet. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Alright, I won't waste your time while I'm searching for this. Give me just a second. And a second is all I took. So here is the uh, rainbow facet with the negative 5% enemy lightning resistance with plus 5% lightning skill damage. So for a total of uh, 20, negative 25% enemy lightning resistance and plus 20% on, uh, on the lightning skill damage. So very, very nice that you can have a combination of these effects and, uh, and it's going to beef up your reference eye so, so very much. And, uh, and of course, you're going to run out here and you're going to have some fun with some various things. Like, uh, like for instance, you could do uh, Nova. Nova is extremely powerful um, with Griffin's Eye and, uh, and a large amount of faster cast. So to keep that in mind, um, a lot of people will actually specifically build the uh, max faster cast or 200% faster cast build with, uh, with Nova. Specifically for this purpose. Now... One of the things that you've got to know is that the negative enemy lightning resistance is pretty much more important than anything else on this item. It's the reason why people use it, and, and you might be wondering, well, why? Why is negative 25% enemy lightning resistance more important than skill damage? Well, to, do, to show you that, I really need to pull this up on a calculator and show you. So, uh, so let's say, for instance, that we have a skill. You know, let's choose one, shall we? So we've got lightning here, and lightning deals... Um, Four to let me let me move this out of the way so you can uh, you can see. So we've got a lightning skill of four thousand, or sorry, four to ten thousand and thirty-one, which is a relatively high amount of damage. Um, four to ten thousand and thirty-one is a lot of damage, right? But but the average of that is probably somewhere around five thousand, right? But let's take the ten thousand damage. All right, so let's pretend we have a, uh, a scenario where we are fighting against a monster who is fairly immune to lightning. And, uh, and for this reason, I'm going to pull up the monster modifiers. So these are the modifiers that determine the resistances of a monster. So when you come across a monster who is lightning enchanted, um, they get a 75% bonus to their lightning resistance. Uh, when you come across a monster who is... Magical resistant, he's got a 40% uh, and you know lightning resistance. Or spectral hit, which is 20. So let's say we came across a monster who was lightning enchanted and spectral hit. That's two effects that both give resistance. He's got 0% base, but he now has 75% from the lightning enchantment and 20% from the spectral hit. So he's rocking a very awesome 75, 85, 95% lightning resistance. It's, uh, it's pretty a killer amount, right? So, uh, so let's go back to the calculator, and I'm going to show you how this works. So we have our, uh, our 10,000 damage lightning hit. So let's say we're lucky enough to hit our 10,000 damage, our top end, 
on our attack, right? So we've hit our 10,000 damage, and we're going up against this monster with 95% lightning resistance. It is going to reduce our 10,000 damage by 9,500, and we are only going to deal a total of 500 damage to this target. It's absolutely pathetic. Now, let's factor in the skill damage, right? So uh, so we've got a pretty decent amount of skill damage right now. We've got 20% skill damage. So we've got 10,000. Plus 20% skill damage, right? So that's 12,000 now, minus 95% resistance. And we're still back down to 600. So that only made the difference of 100 points of damage. All right. So now let's factor in the negative enemy lightning resistance. So we've got a monster who is 95% resistant, but we have negative 25% to his resistance, which means we're bringing him down from 95 to 70. Now we attack this same target with our 12,000 damage because we have the, uh, the skill modifier. So we've got our 20% skill modifier as well. Minus 70% resistance, we are now looking at 3,600 damage instead of 500. So you can see how the negative enemy lightning resistance has a huge impact on the amount of damage that you deal out. Now we're going to look at another scenario. Um, and this is a scenario where the monster is immune. Now, if the monster is immune, let's say he has 110% resistance, and you have conviction. So you've got, um, what is it, uh, an infinity, right? And an infinity is level 12 conviction. And if we go to the chart on conviction for D2, we will find that uh, conviction, I believe, is an 85% reduction in resistances at level Level 12 is 83, sorry. So 83%, um, oh, that's that's defense, sorry. I was right, 85. So 85% with a penalty of 80%. So it's it's 20% effectiveness. So we have to subtract 80% from that, and then we end up with 17. So we have this monster who has 110 resistances, and we've got level 12 conviction, and that is reducing his resistances by 17. So now he is at 93%. It's still not good enough. If we attack a monster with our 10,000 damage ability, and the, he still has 93% resistance, we're still looking at... Sorry, 10,000 minus 93%. We're still looking at 700 damage. It's awful. It's an awful amount of damage. Now, this is where Griffin's eye really shines, is that in this scenario where we have this monster who's 110 lightning resistant, and we reduce his resistances by the um, aforementioned 17%, Um, I didn't mean to do, I didn't mean to actually do 17% because we're already dealing in percents. So we reduce his resistance by 17, and then Griffin's Eye tacks on another 25. Because once the immunity is broken, we can tack on more, and now we're down to 68% resistance, so our 10,000 damage can work much better against that 68% resistance versus the 93. And this is why you will see people so very um, <laughs> desperate to get their hands on this particular equipment because it really makes a huge difference on the amount of damage that you can output as any of these sorceresses. You could have 50,000 damage as a lightning sorceress, and if you don't have negative lightning resistance or some form of way to break immunities, it's not going to do you any good. You're still going to be hurting. Um, and, uh, and a lot of sorceresses will tack on more than this. So they will use other forms of negative lightning resistance or uh, plus skill damage. As you can see on Talrashas, there is a negative 15% enemy lightning resistance effect, which is fairly nice. Um, you can also use the facets in equipment, as we have done. And, uh, and there is also an armor that you can get called uh, Ormus's Robes, which has a uh, bonus skill damage and uh, various effects like that, which could be socketed with another facet. So keep in mind the Griffin's Idea Dem when you are looking at items for a Lightning Sorceress or a Lightning Javazon, um, or a even maybe a Holy Shock Paladin if you're building one specifically with the actual skill. Because um, you know if you're if you're if you're building a Dream Paladin, that's a different story, and you're definitely going to want to use the Dream Helmet instead of the Griffin's Eye. Um, 
just a very awesome helmet all around. And if you happen to have one laying around and you didn't know what it was worth, well, now you know. Um, and it has a relatively high trade value as well. So keep that in mind. Um, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos. And uh, if you like today's video, make sure you hit the like button, uh, the uh, subscribe button, and uh, you know, consider hitting the bell. I do put out videos on a regular basis all the time. And uh, as always, keep watching.